Hey, what's poppin' everyone? So in this video, I'm going to be doing something very exciting. I'm going to give you a tutorial on AWS Amplify and getting started and building an app with React. So let's get to it. So there's many different types of kind of platforms or frameworks that you can use with uh, Ampl AWS Amplify to kind of like amplify and start your, your own project. But of course, I'm a React fanboy, so I'm going to use React. You can use Angular View. JavaScript, Android, iOS, React Native, or oh, people hate React Native or Ionic. Honestly, haven't heard much about Ionic. But we're going to do React, so we're just going to um, start this tutorial. <laughs> but before I do, make sure to triple click that like button for the YouTube algorithm. So the prerequisites that you're going to need for this are going to be, you're going to need Node, and PM, and Git. So all very common things. If you don't have these things, then it'll be very difficult for you to develop an app anyways, especially using React. Next thing you're going to do is, of course, create an AWS account. Uh, I won't be showing you through this, how to do this, because I already have one. And it's pretty straightforward how to make an AWS account. So if you don't have one, then you just need a credit card, of course. And then um, you can just go through the process and the steps to fill, that, fill out that form, put in your name, your phone number, stuff like that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install and configure the Amplify CLI. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to install this global, Amplify globally. So let us go ahead and do that. Install G, minus G stands for global, if you did not know that. Just some tips for me, Dan. <laughs> okay, so I already have this installed, but it'll take a minute to update if there's any updates, so we'll be back when it does. All right, next thing we wanna do is we wanna configure Amplify, so we'll type in Amplify configure. And then we will configure it. So we're going to have to specify a region and then a username. It will ask you, of course, to log into your AWS account to configure all that information. So I'm going to do that. I'm not going to show that, but I will do that. <laughs> all right, so here we go. We logged into the AWS Management Console. So we should be good to go back. So it's going to ask us to press Enter to continue. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to select our region. So we are in US East 1, Northern Virginia. And then username, it can be anything, but we're just gonna do the default, it doesn't matter. And then boom, bing, boom, boom. There we go. It'll take us to the AWS page. So we can just click next permissions and we should be good. We can create tags if we want to, administrator access. So this is gonna create a user for us. If we want to, we, can, we could have named this whatever. But there we go, we have this user created. So let's go back to your console, we can press enter to continue. I like how it just takes takes you to AWS like automatically, it's really cool. So access key of the newly created user, so let us get that, access key ID. And then we can just put this in here. And then secrets access key, we're gonna need this. This is really, we're such an easy setup honestly. Profile name, defaults, and then boom, we have set up our new user for AWS um, Amplify. All right, so now that the setup is complete, we can set up the full stack project. So after this, you're gonna be completely full stack. <sighs> Not really, but you might be one day. So we're just gonna type in this NPX create React app to create a very simple React app. And then we'll wait for this finish. All right, we are back and it took us about a minute, but now it gives us a bunch of commands we can do to start this app. So let's try it out, npm start. And let's, it'll start the app. Actually, if I open my eyes, you would see it tells us it tells us to do yarn start, not npm start. I'm, I'm very used to doing npm start. So yarn start, they're both ways to start your application. I'm actually super dumb. I didn't actually follow the second step here, CD React and Amplify. I was just trying to start an app that didn't exist because I was not in the directory. So now we can do npm start. We don't have to do any yarn business. Nobody likes yarn anyways. npm is way cooler. And there we go, it created our React app. Just as easy as that, you build a, build a website. All right, what's the next step here? All right, that's cool and all, we built our website, but we want to do more than that. We want to create a backend. So let us create our backend. So we're gonna do amplify init to make our backend. And let's take some time as well. Oh, actually, no, we have to do, we have to go through some steps. So let's go through some steps. Enter a name for the project. We're just gonna do the default for each of these, save some time, React Amplified. Dev, VS Code, yes, Visual Studio Code. You can use whatever editor you would like. And then we can use JavaScript or you can do Android, iOS, whatever you want to do. React, 
Source directory, sure. Is source SRC. Distribution directory path build, okay. Build command, run script build, that's fine. Start command, run script start, simple. And then vault provider, CloudFormation, sure you can use others, but that should be good. And do you want to use an AWS profile? Yes, why not? And then this will run and go through all the steps. So it builds it all for you. So you don't have to do anything. This is great. So what's going on here while this is installing, or I guess it already installed, is it, it'll create a top-level directory called Amplify. So it's going to create a file called AWS exports. It's going to change me get ignore. And then it's going to a cloud project or cloud project is going to be created in the Amplify console if you want to check that out. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to go and install AWS Amplify, this command right here, AWS Amplify at AWS dash Amplify slash UI React. All right, so the next thing we're doing, going to do after we have done that is we have to want to set up the front end for this. So we're going to go into our front end and source.index.js and we're going to add this to our imports at the top. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here we are in our create React app. So we're just gonna import those statements real quick and then boom, we'll save. And then we have Amplify already configured. So now we can just add our API and the next step. So we're gonna have to add Amplify add API. So one thing mentioned here, you can use both REST and GraphQL endpoints here, but this is, we're going to be making a GraphQL endpoint. So let's go ahead and add this Amplify add API. All right, so we are of course going to be selecting GraphQL. API name, it doesn't matter. React Amplified is default, so we're just going to use that. So API key is what we're going to be using as our um, authorization type. And then enter description, we don't need that. So how many days um, should it expire? So we're gonna do seven, which is the default. Do you wanna configure advanced settings? No. You have an annotated GraphQL schema? No, we do not. So single objects with fields or one to many relationships. So we're gonna do single object with fields. All right, so now it's going to be asking you if you want to edit the schema. And of course we do want to edit the schema. So let's go ahead and edit it. So if we look at the schema in our um, Amplify backend, we'll see that this is the schema that it has created for us. And it also created a bunch of other cool stuff. And then it'll make, us very, it'll make it very easy for us to deploy this, the backend anyways. So all we have to do is do type Amplify and then push, and then it will go through the steps of deploying it. All right, so it will ask us some questions. Do we want to continue? Yes, we want to continue. And then do you want to generate code for our newly created API? Yes, we do. Because we want to, we don't want to type our own code. <laughs> That's the whole point of this, right? So we're going to use JavaScript. So enter the file name. So we'll, we can just use the default. Press enter. Do you want to generate, update all possible GraphQL operations, queries? Yes, default. And then enter maximum statement depth. We'll just do two. And then it'll update for us. So once that finished, you'll get some keys. But now we can type amplify status. And then we should be able to get the status once it finishes. Once it finishes, come on. So here are, is what we're gonna get. We can get our GraphQL endpoint and then our API key. So now we can type, to view this API in our app sync console, we can just type amplify console API. I'm not gonna do that though, because it's not a big deal. And we can view our entire app in amplify console anytime as well with just amplify console. So we can test this out locally, very optional as well, with amplify mock API, I'm not going to do that. So we can just, and then we can query for to do's. So what I want to do though, is we want to connect our front end to our API. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all this code and I'm going to put it in the app.js of our front end. So let me copy and then I'll see you in our front end. All right, so here we are in the front end. So we're just going to copy this and then it will include our imports, our app and everything else. 
So there we go. And then I have um, prettier installed, so auto formats for me, but that shouldn't matter. All right, so now we want to do npm start, and then we should see our changes. And there you have it. We have our, our Amplify to do's already made for us. And this is all made from the front end, and we can like, create a to do and whatnot. So I'll just try it. To do, not, not my name, that would be weird. Um, laundry, that's a common to do. And then clean it. There we go. So if we click create to do, laundry, clean it. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we have deployed those authentication changes. So now we want to make changes to our front end. So one thing we want to do is we want to import some stuff into our app.js. So with authenticator from amplify slash UI react. And then we want to change the default export um, to be the with authent. Um, the with often the with authenticator app sorry i can't speak and then we want to start all right so we will see the changes that we will get npm starts and then it'll take a second to start up so now if we look at our front end we can see that we're calling a couple endpoints the the react dev tools back end and then the graphql endpoint as well to see which data we're getting or the the data that we're getting like and here we see Name laundry is what we sent, and then the description is clean it for the um, GraphQL endpoint. All right, next steps that you would might want to do is maybe you want to want to add hosting, or you, maybe you want to do automatic deployment so you don't have to de deploy each time. And yeah, you can do those things. I'm not going to do those things, but um, I will link this down in the description if you would want to follow it yourself. But I hope you enjoy this. I don't do these kind of tutorial things very often. Um, but if you did, make sure, if you did enjoy this, make sure you do hit that subscribe and like button. Even though I don't do it very often, I do do it sometimes. So hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Peace.